Hi guys, if you've watched the fraction videos up to now, you are doing well and keep going because here we're going to actually now get into doing some examples of adding fractions. I'm going to move a little faster because in the last video I did one example and I spent a lot of time on every detail. So let's jump right in. Let's do 5 over 6 plus 1 over 2. Okay? So first thing is the fact the denominators are not equal. That's the point of this video. Okay? So uh, we have to get these denominators to be equal before we can add anything. So what we have to do is we have to get the multiples of both the denominators and find the least common multiple as we did in the last video. I'm going to write that down on the uh, uh, below here. So first uh, denominator, 6 is the first multiple. 12, 18, that should be enough. The dot 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 means we could go on and on, but we're interested in the least common multiple, so we don't necessarily want to write too much. So for the second de uh, denominator, 2, multiples are 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, 6 is in common, we could stop right there. I'll try to circle these, and for the next example, I'll kind of skip this step. 6 is the common denominator. <clears throat> now we ask ourselves, <clears throat> how do we get from 6 to 6? Because that's our new denominator. right? And the way you get from 6 to 6 is just by multiplying by 1 over 1. Right, so th this is this is this. I'm writing the same thing over, but now we're changing these, we're multiplying these fractions by something to get them to uh, our goal, which is uh, the common denominator of six. Right. So what do we need to multiply this denominator, first denominator, by to get it to be six? Well, we just multiply by one, which is really doing nothing. Right. And what do we need to multiply the second denominator by in order to get it to be 6? Well, you say 3, and you'd be right. So if we multiply the denominator by 3, we have to also do the same thing to the numerator. And so when we rewrite these fractions, 5 times 1 is 5, and 6 times 1 is 6. So we, this first fraction didn't change. The second one, however, is 1 times 3. 3 and 2 times 3 is 6 right so we got the denominators the same basically the least common multiple becomes the denominators the new denominators and then we just have to change the numerators and make the uh, in according to how we change the denominators so if we didn't have to change the denominator like in the first fraction then we're not going to change the numerator but in the second fraction one half we had to change it to something over 6. So we had to, ch it changed from 2 to 6. So something had to change on the top. And we figured that out by asking ourselves, what did we have to multiply the denominator by in order to get it to 6? And we had to do the same thing to the numerator. So we multiplied the denominator by 3, and we multiplied the numerator by 3. And now we're ready to add because the denominators are equal. So 5, 6 plus 3, 6. Is f so we just add across. That's 8 over 6. Okay? And we're done. I mean, we can, we can convert this to a simpler form, but we're going to leave it at that. We're going to do a separate video about conver uh, making a fraction simple in simplest form and also uh, converting fractions to improper uh, I mean improper fractions to mixed numbers sorry okay so let's do more examples now I'm gonna move a little faster how about two-thirds plus five twelfths okay let's get the red pen out and write multiples three six nine twelve and I noticed 12 and 12 so that's a sign that I could stop but let me just keep going let's say I'm new to this and I don't notice these things multiples of the second uh, denominator 12 24 but I noticed that I have a 12 and a 12 in common that's my least common multiple could circle that okay so our goal here is 
we're going to eventually get to something over 12 plus something over 12 okay and I'll put a little box here for what this is going to be because we don't know what that is yet okay so these new fractions we can rewrite the old and it's going to be times something see if you could fill these in plus 5 twelfths times something so what are these somethings okay so what we have to ask ourselves is how do we get from 3 to 12 our new denominator which is our least common multiple well you multiply by 4 right so whatever you do to the denominator you have to do to the numerator so you multiply two-thirds by 4 over 4 now how do we get uh, with a second uh, fraction in our problem how do we get from 12 to 12 well you don't really do anything right so multiply by 1 and whatever you do to the bottom you do to the top and so really you're not doing anything here but we're showing all this stuff for for complete for completeness okay so now we're ready to write our new fractions. Well, our denominators are clear because that was clear right from the beginning when we got our least common multiple. But our numerators are what's what we have to figure out. So we just do the multiplication here. 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 4 is 12, which is what we already had, which we was what we needed. Now, 5 times 1 is 5 and just to check 12 times 1 is 12 and that's what we needed here now we have common denominators and we're ready to add these two fractions this this original set right here these original fractions this is our original problem is equal to these new fractions they're just written in a different form okay this is important to understand we start out with this form and they're equal to this form we had to do all this work to get them to this form which where the denominators are the same the bottoms are equal to each other so that we can do the arithmetic and add them but they're equal to each other and it's important to understand that although we change some numbers we changed both the tops and the bottoms of those fractions, the numerator, numerators and the denominators, so nothing really changed. We just got them in the form where we can add them. Now we add across and we get 13, which is 8 plus 5, and the denominator, as we know, does not change. 13 over 12. Okay? So let's do one more example. And this one, I'm going to go a lot quicker. Let's do a subtraction. How about if I say 2 thirds minus 5 twelfths? We'll keep the same numbers. We'll just do one subtraction so you see there's nothing tricky with subtraction. So we already know that these denominators, common multiples, are going to be 12, right? Sometimes you'll see least common multiple written like that, okay? Least common multiple, LCM. So the least common multiple is 12. And to skip some of the steps, because we already did them up here, we're going to get the same two fractions as we did here. Okay? But I want you to see maybe how eventually you're going to be able to skip this middle step. How do we go from 3 to 12? Well, we multiply by 4, which we did here, right? So if I multiply the bottom by the denominator by 4, I multiply the num numerator by 4, and I get 8, which is what we got here. Right? Next, second fraction. How do I get from 12 to 12? Well, I do nothing. So I do nothing to the numerator. If I do nothing to the denominator, I do nothing to the numerator. And now, since the two denominators are equal, which is required with addition and subtraction, you got to remember that. Now that they're equal, I can just do my subtraction, which is easy. 8 minus 5 is 3, and the denominator stays the same, okay? 
Remember that. Okay, denominator is very important with addition and subtraction of fractions. Okay, so our answer is 3 over 12. And we did the same two fractions that we used in the previous example over here, except instead of addition, we use subtraction. And basically it was the same steps, but since we already had done them, I skipped some of the intermediary steps and we're also getting a little better at this and we can see things but you can do that on the side just for practice for a few more problems and when we get to the point where the denominators are equal we instead of adding that's the only difference instead of adding 8 and 5 we subtract 5 from 8 8 minus 5 is 3 whereas 8 plus 5 is 13 8 minus 5 is 3 and notice the denominators are the same, okay? Least common multiple. So we learned a couple new words here, a couple new terms, and I think we're getting a better idea of adding and subtracting fractions. Believe it or not, this challenges a lot of people, even in college. So if you know you need more practice, do a bunch more practice problems, and let me know in the comments that you want me to do more videos on this. I'm going to move on to doing uh, multiplication and addition, uh, multiplication and sorry, division of fractions. Also, I'm going to do a video on reducing fractions to their simplest form and converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. And, uh, and then from there, you move on to algebra. And from algebra, you move on to calculus. So you're on the path. Keep going. I encourage you to, to continue with these lessons. Just watch watch them in sequence subscribe to the channel so you get all these videos as they're released and watch them in order so that you don't uh, get flustered because if you watch them in order I'm building these up slowly and slowly to the point where they're going to you're going to they're going to get deep in your head and uh, you're going to be able to handle these problems and you'll no longer need to to uh, watch these videos okay all right thanks a lot guys make sure to subscribe again have a great day bye